All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we had a question on one of the videos about Songbird and how high it could actually go in a bull run. Um, so I kind of did the math with the circulating supply that I do see on Coin Market Cap, uh, and you can see we're on the three-day chart here. So I just simply drew a fib from the, the the high to the low down here. You can see we recently fell through the bottom here, tested it as resistance, and we're moving down. Uh, so we'll zoom in in just a minute, but just an overall picture um, for this thing to get back up up here to this 50 cent range. We're just going to go by 50 cents. Uh, uh, you can see the top is 57 according to the chart here. This is, I think, uh, I don't even remember what chart this is. I think it's gate IO chart, um, but you can see a 7,000% uh, move to get back to the top up here. So to get back to about 50 cents is where I did the math at. You're looking at about a 6,000% move, which would be a, um, a 60X from the bottom here, from where you are right now, if you don't go any lower. So a 60X is possible. That would give you about a $5 billion market cap on Songbird here. Um, in a full-fledged uh, bull market, that's totally possible. It, it, it'll probably even go even higher than that if it survives the bear market, of course. So, yeah, I think it can get up to 50 cents and even higher for about a 60, 70 X. Uh, that would give it a five to six billion dollar market cap. You know, barring that they don't unlock a whole bunch of tokens into circulation. Um, it all depends on all those different factors there, of course. So, yeah, uh, but if we zoom in here to the daily chart and let's just see where this thing is headed to right now. Let's go ahead and fix our chart here really quick. Um, all right, so looking on the daily chart here, you can see that we are sitting right on our 1272 here at 0078. Um, and just uh, realize that the MACD, the RSI, everything is way below in the oversold area, way below the 50 and the zero here. So this thing could curl up at any moment and bounce at any of these levels and start moving back up. But as of now, you can see it's just it's just going down. So just watch your uh, 0078 here. You lose that. The next stop, the next DCA price is 0069, and then so on and so forth. So potential 11, 12% drop to 69. If you lose 78, you lose that. Your next stop is a 25% drop to 0059. So like I said, at any of these levels, you could bounce and move higher when you see all these things start to curl up and the momentum come back. The Hakanashi candles are printing red. They are getting smaller, so the downtrend is not strong at the moment. So, like I said, you could bounce at any of these price levels. So, you know, if you're looking at this thing for that um, that uh, long-term play, you know, just dollar cost average in at all these different price targets as it moves down. So, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Watch all those prices to the downside. Like I said, it could bounce at any moment. And, you know, do your own research and just just be aware that um, you want to make sure if you're investing in something like this for it to get back to that 50 cent area that you actually do your research and make sure this thing is actually going to survive in a bear market because uh, things could get really bad really fast. So, yeah, with that said, not financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to follow me over on Rumble and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.